Hey guys, this is James and welcome to a new tutorial. Today, I'm going to use a AI driven plugin for Adobe Premiere Pro to trim my video clips. It will also add B-rolls on top of my videos and lastly, it will make reels from my long format video. The plugin name is AutoCut and this video is sponsored by AutoCut. Uh, let's see how does this plugin help you to automate your video editing process. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. Okay, let's have a live demo how the AutoCut's auto trimming feature works then how you can use the auto b-roll to add b-rolls and lastly we'll see how you can use auto viral feature to just select the viral portion of your video and make reels out of it so here i have already made a project in adobe premiere pro and i'm going to use this sample clip for this video so here is my clip so if i just click and drag it i can import it and then if i click and drag it here to make a new sequence i can do that just by using the properties of this clip so here is our okay. test clip so if i play it back what if i told you this part of the video the talking head the jump cuts the silence remove was completely edited by ai so here you can clearly see i have made some intentional pause while i was recording the video to demonstrate how you can use the autocut feature to trim out the silent part of your video so first go to window after installing the AutoCut plugin, once you install it, you will see it here on this extension section and from here, click on AutoCut. Then it will open the AutoCut application here. Now this is a independent application. You cannot dock it here in Adobe Premiere Pro. It just works on Premiere Pro and you can also use the AutoCut if you're using DaVinci Resolve. So here you can just click on AutoCut Silence, right? So you can use on entire timeline or in point outpoints or selected clips. I have selected the clips. If I want to use the in point and outpoint, I have need to uh, make in point or outpoint here, right? So if I just make outpoint, then I can click here in outpoints to make a selection. It will detect the in points and outpoints on your timeline and it will select that clips. And the next important thing is you need to make sure which track you are using, right? my audio laid in a one track so i'm just you going to use the a one track only for my audios and then if you have more than one track audio you can use that just by enabling or disabling that track right next you need to click on validate section right and here you need to just set a threshold so just go here on your timeline and just listen to the silent part of our video and see in which level the audio is playing right if i play it back i can see the audio monitor or audio meter and here i can just uh, watch out the level so my silent level is between 42 to 38 dv so i can just select any number between 42 or maybe 38 okay i think 38 is great or 37 for me will work great and the next section is facing you can select calm measured face energetic or jumpy i'll select paste if you select jumpy it will just chop maybe milliseconds silence so it will not look good if you just chop your clip everywhere uh, the next thing is padding that is important i'll just use padding 50 I don't like to use a whole lot of padding for my cuts and then silence management what do you want to do with the silence do you want to remove and delete the silence or do you want to uh, just keep the gaps and then you want to edit manually you have to select it here I'll just click remove silence and the transition there are some transition that you can use you can use J cut or L cuts or you can use both for me i will use constant power once you do that you can see a preview just by clicking here on generate preview it will just give you an idea how it will look after cutting so here you can see the silent part and this is the dialogue part once you are satisfied with the selection and the numbers and the settings then you can just click here cut and delete silence and apply transition it will then take some time to upload the audio to their server and then it will pull up the data and trim out the section it doesn't take that much time if your internet speed is great you can see it's almost done so here if i play it back 
What if I told you this part of the video, the talking head, the jump cuts, the silence remove was completely edited by AI. No timeline slicing, no repeal deletes, no manual trimming. Yes, this entire intro was auto edited using a plugin called AutoCut inside Adobe Premiere Pro. And today I'm putting it on the test. AI is no longer just a buzzword, it's become. You can see it has done a pretty good job. Now the next feature that is just adding the bureaus i'll use the new feature by autocad which is auto bureaus you can automatically add bureaus on your videos to do that first i'll just make an out point here for my video and then if i click on auto bureaus that panel will be here and from here i can just select in or out points then i'll just select audio one track and then if i click on validate sections it will ask me whether the video is recorded in english or other language there are a lot of options so you can just select your spoken language from here it supports bengali hindi spanish french chinese japanese whatnot so there are several languages that you can select from here so for me it's english then i can click on next then it will upload again the audio to their server and it will transcribe the audio and depending on the transcribe you can just add some bureaus here on your timeline you can add bureaus i mean video bureaus also you can generate ai images for your bureaus so here it's almost done transcribing audio using ai so it's done and it will give you two options which is edit AI settings you can click here and you can edit your AI settings from here I'll just keep it as it is and the next section is auto find section for bureaus with AI I'll just click here it will automatically select the portion that it thinks is eligible for bureaus and then it will give you option don't worry you can also manually select the portion that you want to add a bureau on so here it has given us three different section for our bureaus if you want to add more bureaus you can just click here suppose i want to add a bureaus in the beginning section so i can just click here and from here i can select a portion suppose maybe this section and then if i click on conference selection it will add a bureau segment on that section so here it is to add bureaus you need to click here on the select content and here you'll see two different options one is existing stocks that will give you a stock footage option and then AI generated image so you can see it has give me a keyword which is video editing so you can use this one or you can just use a computer video edit let me keep that context and see what it brings so here perfect so i can just select maybe this one and then i can just close it so for that portion i have selected a b-roll next here so the keyword is ai is no longer just a buzzword so it has selected light bulb because there is a word called buzzword and for that reason it has selected light bulb so i don't want to use that i can search for ai or i can generate an image maybe i'll generate image for this section so if i want to generate image i need to go here to generate image and from here i can just write it and ai editing video then if i click on generate picture it will generate the picture using the ai so here it will take a few minutes generating image let me i'll not cut so that's the time literally it takes maybe 10 or 15 seconds so here is our ai and not the one that i was looking for so i can just modify the prompt an ai robot is editing video in front of a computer 
So let me try again. Okay, this one is perfect. So I will just select this one. If you want to enlarge the image to preview, you can click on zoom icon. Then you can see the image, right? So I'll just select it. And then again, I just click on close the next one. So for this one, I will use a laptop, which is from generating script to replacing tedious manual task. So I think the context could be better. It has selected Dex laptop, but the line is saying from generating script replacing tedious manual task so i'll just search for a writing script okay perfect i'll select this one and then close and i'll just first for us this section okay i have selected the bureaus that i want to add here on my timeline after doing the process manually just reviewing the script and adding the bureaus i can click on add bureaus it will download the bureaus and it will place the bureaus where the bureaus should be so downloading the bureaus it will take some time because we're going to download video bureaus so in my opinion when i am going to use the video bureaus it doesn't give me a lot of options i think uh, we are getting the bureaus from pixels so it will be great if autocad add more provider for their bureaus so that we can have uh, several options to select from i would like to see that option in their future updates yeah it's done we have successfully added our bureaus so here are all the bureaus so now if i just play the video from the beginning what if i told you this part of the video the talking head the jump cuts the silence remove was completely edited by ai no timeline slicing no ripple deletes no manual trimming yes this entire intro was auto edited using a plugin called AutoCut inside Adobe Premiere Pro. And today I'm putting it on the test. AI is no longer just a buzzword, it's becoming a real practical assistant in our creative lips. From generating scripts to replacing tedious manual tasks, tools like AutoCut are here to save time and energy, not creativity. Whether you are a solo content creator, a podcast editor, or a full time YouTuber, editing face cam videos or long podcasts, used to take hours but now yeah you can handle the boring part you can okay you got the idea uh, it has added the bureaus now to spice it up you can add captions and do the texting and animation and it will add more value to your video so now we are going to see how you can use auto viral feature to select the viral portion of your video and use it uh, for your reels maybe right so to do that, I'll just close this project and open another project. So here I have opened one of my client's project and it's pretty long. It's all about seven minutes long. So from here, I want to just make some reels. To do that, I need to precisely select the portion that I want to use for reels. And then I need to re-edit that section. But you can use auto viral clips to uh, search for the viral portion of your video. So I'll just select auto viral clips and from here again you need to select the audio the dialogue track laid on track one which is a1 i will deselect all the tracks because those tracks contains music and sound effects and then i'll select in and out point and then validate sections and from here i will use transcript ai then emotion ai beta and from the language i'll select the english united states and if I click on find viral clips, it will then um, render the audio section and send it to their server and transcribe that audio and search for the viral portion. And from that section, I can able to select the portion that I want to use for my reels or for my short videos, right? So it's working, uploading the file. Let's wait for a while.
okay be sure not to use adobe premiere pro when the process is going because it's saying please refrain from using premiere pro during autocad works to prevent potential issues so if you work on your timeline it will uh, face some issue so to avoid that issue you need to just give it some time and do its thing okay it's done it has selected few section that i can use to make viral clips or i can use it for maybe reels or shorts so here it has selected a section and the viral score is 100 and there it score is 100 again 92 so it will give score depending on the section that it had selected right so the first one is you want to avoid any aversive equipment or techniques um wool techniques techniques aversive are things that punish and try to stop decrease behavior so that is one portion i think is very eligible for a short content so i can use this section and it has also suggested a title which is dangerous of aversive tools which is the dangers of aversive tools so i can just select that section and then if i click on generate one viral clip it will make a viral short video from that section so i can use that short video to make a short video or i can use that section to make a reels right so if i just minimize this one so that is the section it has selected you want to avoid any aversive equipment or techniques aversives so the duration is you can see here 36 seconds so it has detected a clip that is 36 seconds long and it has made a viral section from my existing video so you can use that feature to make viral content from your existing long form video because if you're editing podcast or if you're editing long form videos it will take forever to make small content from that video you need to just listen throughout the video and then you have to select but it can give you few options and from there you can select the portion that you want to use for your viral content now you can convert it into a short video if you just right click and then if you click reveal sequence in project and from here if you right click and then if you click on auto reframe sequence you can select a vertical format and then create it will automatically make vertical video from that clip so you can convert those clips into vertical short video or reels whatever you want so that is all for today i hope you have liked this video and if you have liked this video then you can give me a thumbs up and if you want to try autocad i'll put a link in the description so you can just click on the first link in the description and check out autocad plugin for adobe premiere pro or for the Vinci result so i'll catch you guys on the next one until then goodbye